Listen. I mean whoever. Listen. In this country, Nigeria, sufficient be it that the children of God are suffering. Let God not hear that any man of God is touched by anybody who calls himself a political leader. Listen. Even if you are an imam and you are speaking what Allah gives you, read a message from Allah. Go ahead and prophesy. Let no politician attempt to harass a man of God. All the Pentecostal men of God, if you are really real and you have a message from God, do not be afraid whether they will arrest you from Asarok. They say, whoever speaks again this country, speaks anything that will not be good for them, will be arrested from the altar. Hear the message. People like Bishop Anna and Kuka, and some of them who are courageously speaking, go ahead and speak and prophesy. Listen, there is an altar here. Standing for all of you. And I, I encourage other men of God to rise up. Provided you don't fake the word of God. When God has not spoken, don't speak. It must be raw and undiluted. The word of God must be comprehensively celestial. It must come from above. There will be no iota of mundanity or political bias or worldly gain. It should not be out of what you can benefit. It must come like that. God is coming to defend his prophecy. How can the children of God be suffering in the country? And nobody is allowed to speak. If men of God will be silent, many men of God will begin to die. Questionable and unquestionable deaths. Let me tell you. It's not a matter of, my bishop told me, told me not to speak. The time the anger of God will come, your bishop will not save you. Priests of God, rise up and open your mouth. Before God will be angry. Because the judgment will start from the pulpit. What is happening? Is it good for your bishop? Those who are suffering, do they not belong to the bishops? Are they not souls to be saved? Who is a bishop who can save the politicians and sacrifice the souls that are given to him? Listen. You are just talking that you are going to begin to arrest men of God because you have money. Just hear this conclusion of the message. Jeroboam the king, the, the president, did what in 1 King 13 verse 4? When King Jeroboam heard the words, the man of God cried against the altar in Bethel. He thrust out his hand, saying, lay hold on him. Arrest him. I am speaking to those who will be asked to go and arrest any man of God. You cannot do it. If you try it, look at what will happen. The King Jeroboam said, lay hold on him. The Bible said, and his hand which he put forth against him. The hand dried up. And his hand which he put forth against the man of God dried up so that he could not draw it to him again. 
Okay, we're a quick which is the answer. Okay, we're a quick one. 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 It will be wrong when any man of God begins to speak lies against the leaders. But if you are prophesying from what is happening, that the humanity of man to man is not good. Hmm. That the poor masses are dying of hunger. That government should do something. There was a time there was no bandits, so, so called. What is the cause? Let the government deal with the cause and not with the effects. If you continue to buy bomb, bomb shooters, bomb, jet bombers, and begin to kill the subjects and bomb my fellow chief, my countrymen, and bomb the children God has given to me. Because you cannot use the money to build industries and engage them meaningfully. Now you are buying jets to begin to shoot and kill. If you use the money of one jet, do you know how many industries it will build? Start the industry even from the north. Distribute it to the south, to the west, to the east. But it will be watching graduates, youths. Our youths, we have no job. And you forgot that the idle hands are devil's workshop. And a hungry man is an angry man. And the more dollar is rising. The cost of things are hiking. But the salary of our civil servants are static. How do we match it for those who have children? How do they pay for the school fees and house rents? How can they pay for transport fees? How can they eat? And you want everybody to be silent. Men of God are spokesmen for God and for his people. They represent God. You don't direct them on what to say because you're a politician. I am not a politician and men of God whom I represent are not politicians. I'm standing in the position of Elijah and Elisha and I speak. Listen. In a time like this, woe be tied men of God who will be silent so that you benefit from the politicians. Disgrace and shame will be upon you. Many governments have come and passed. Buhari's government will come and pass. But the government of heaven will remain in eternity. The church will remain forever. The gate of hell will never prevail against the church. Read Matthew 16, 19. Therefore, if you are a prophet, real prophet, speak. It is time for their hands to begin to wither. It is time for those who point ugly hands towards men of God for their hands to begin to wither. And you, military men and policemen and DSSs, listen. Stop joking. Stop joking with your lives. Because your families can wither. Your spinal cord can wither. Your heads can wither. If they send you on such a run, they refuse to go. Are they taking good care of you? How much are our military men paid? How much are our policemen who are standing on the main road taking risks? How much are they being paid? If any of them is gone down, who takes care of their families? Policemen, I ask you, who takes care of your families? 
You should be friend men of God. Your enemies should be these wicked politicians. Let me hear that any man of God is arrested because of what he said. We will place a curse on you and your generation. This condition cannot continue like this forever. It can't continue ad infinitum. I can take it down for far alone, boy. If you go to the north, they are crying more than us here. Oh, things are worse there. A lot of kidnappings and banditry activities. Go to the west. It's not better there. Come down here. Just as I was telling them. I was imagining and thinking. Listen. I'm speaking from the sanctuary of God. And this is how I feel about it. I was thinking that if Nam the Kano is arrested, that banditry will end. Terrorism will end. Kidnapping will end. Sit at home will end. But in Nam the Kano is held. More people are crying. More people are dying. More people are being shot down. More policemen are being killed. Banditry is continuing. Terrorism has not stopped. Sit at home has not stopped. Is it not better to release Nam the Kano now? Because holding him has not solved any problem. Namdekano is just one voice. Millions of people are crying because things are not better. Go to Amansi Road. If you are going towards Anambra, pass towards Uguaba. Because the federal road is gone. Now, the other road that you can follow. If you move by 1 p.m., you reach Anambra around 9 p.m. If at all you will reach. What do you expect that people who live there will be saying about the government? Pass through 82 division here and go to 9th mile. Towards Usuka OP road. Disaster. Do you want the passers-by to be happy? How do you want Nigerians to be happy when you are borrowing money from outside to be running current expenditures? It is never done anywhere. If you borrow money to build industries, we can understand. You don't borrow money to serve salaries and this. It is, it is rubbish. Whoever is advising the president to be doing that, that person is evil. Jeroboam laid his hand upon the man of God and his hand with that. And the king Jeroboam said to the man of God, Please, please, entreat now the favor of the Lord, your God. Hmm. For me, that my hand may be restored. My hand, my hand. My hand may be restored to me. Can I come and jawla jawo? Amen and amen. And the man of God entreated the Lord. He engaged himself in prayers. We want to go use to go buy it better. And the king's hand was restored and became as it was before. As I said, many things that are happening now did not start with Buhari. But everybody should not keep quiet because it didn't start with him. 
the time has come for people who can fix this country to come together. There are people gifted in fixing things. Now in the country, like, a, like an egg is rolling. Let people come and catch it before it will break. A time is coming, whether you like it or not. When an egg is broken, it cannot be hatched. Don't begin to say, I'm back again, I'm back again. Go to 2 Kings chapter 6. And Elisha prophesied, and the king sent men to go and arrest him. Go and arrest Elisha. As they were coming, Elisha said, <laughs> Who are these? The servant of Elisha said, Man of God, let us run. Oh, look at them coming with horses. They are coming with ammunition. Elisha said, <laughs> He was facing the altar of God and just laughed. <laughs> and he told the servant, Those who are for us are greater than those who are against us. As they were coming, Elisha turned and said, All of you get blind. <laughs> Prophetic power. And all of them got blind. I said, well, where do you want us to go? I said to the king, I said, let us be moving. <laughs> Why I'm expressing this is that evil cannot triumph over good. The, the hardship in the country the hardship in the country should not be pushed to the man of God. Except I'm asking fellow men of God not to use their prophetic unction for profit making, for money making. Don't ever merchandise your prophetic unction. Once you are speaking as God has given you the power, don't be afraid. They can be blind. Their hands can wither. And some of them, if they are not careful, as the poor masses are dying, go to the mortuaries. Look at how the doctors are crying and their needs are, that should be quickly attended to. We are toying with our doctors, toying with our nurses, toying with our teachers, toying with our students, toying with our graduates. Everything is politics, politics. If you can grab it, grab it. This is your time. Which time? How are you sure God will give you opportunity to eat that money? Look at the chief of army staff. How he just ended. They said his aircraft landed and burnt. That was it. Just one casket, one Nigerian flag. And when you're about to, to be put down, the flag will be removed and will be ruled and given to your family. That is it. Is that our flag? Is that our flag? Is that our flag? Police say, I'm not choosing. I'm not a baboon. As soon as you get one of those, you can't get a good thing. By the end of this, we shall begin to advocate for the welfare of our policemen and military men. They are suffering unnecessarily. If you die in the war front, how are you compensated? There are issues to be looked into. Because we are facing altars. A war against altars. A country where the residents are running away. Doctors are rushing down to Saudi Arabia. Our great inventors are running away. Because things are not well. Look at the speed which dollar and pounds are rising. Rising. Before you know it, one dollar will be one thousand naira. If we are not careful. After this, what I said, I may not remember. Because I'm just a messenger. As I said, if Namdi is being held, Manakeji, I can't 
And I pray for justice. In Sunday, Ibogo's house, the advocate for the Yoruba's freedom. When the DSS people invaded his house, some people were killed. I think two people. And the last week, judgment was given in his favor. 20 billion. Still quiet, 20 billion. Where he was arrested, he was released there. Now, Namde was arrested and brought to Nigeria. And before he ran away, do you know how many people that were killed in his house? So if two people were killed and 20 billion should be paid to Sunday Bogo's family. How much do you think should be paid? So Namde, you can't say we should stop calling his name. He's one of my children. I should be calling his name. What crime did he commit that nobody has ever not committed? I'm not making him a saint either. But I'm saying, with fairness, with equity, the man is crying over the evil in this country. Nigeria is one of the best countries in the whole world. There's no need for the sufferings. We have the best land for agriculture in the whole world. We have the best waters. We have the best ingenious brains in the world. Courageous youths who can do anything to become rich. Look for them in Nigeria. Why can't they be transmuted, transformed, and transfigured into profitable purposes? Engage them significantly and meaningfully. And you are busy looking for those to kill. How many are you going to kill? There are thousands who are more tough than an Namdekano. In Yoruba land, though, in Aousa land, in Ibo land, Namde is just a spokesperson. He has never touched an ant. So what is he doing there? You think he have arrested who? Even when he has announced the seat at home should stop, people should begin to go for businesses on Monday. Better now go out. <laughs> Even government houses are locked up on Monday. Okay? But in Namdi is still there. Asking that everybody should go out on Monday to school, to businesses. So Namdi Kano is not a problem. So you believe that should rise up. Come together and go for your brother. Go for our brother, go for our son. Look for where he is. Naman the Khan is a gift to Nigeria. We can't lose him like that. Such an ingenious brain. Such a courageous brain. Cannot be wasted. If you, the roads are working fine, will he say there is no road? If our youth are well employed, will he say they are not employed? If farmers are not being killed in the farm, we begin to agitate. How can you be listening? You call for, how about my man goes to the, oh, she has been killed with the husband in the farm. With the two of their children. And if you know them, you will be happy, okay? I cover myself with the blood of Jesus because I know that these few things I've said now, we mean many things for many people. Mine is, let there be a better Nigeria where there will be fairness, equity, justice, joy, peace, tranquility, progress, and even economic breakthroughs. Prosperity that will bring about morality that is sound. Amen. In the morning, if people go to their industries and come back late, tired, will they go for any meeting? Those who are working in the night, for example, Aquarafa. Those who work in the night, when they come out by day, they will be sleeping because this week will be night. They can become bandits. For me, there's no bandits in Nigeria. 
there, we have people who are less privileged. Less privileged even in mind. Disenchanted. Mesmerized emotionally. They need caring. Not shooting. Engage them meaningfully. If you engage such people meaningfully, that will mean Nigeria will have better soldiers. So when Adam Chinaka came, Nisi Fadambaka. For protection. If you are pursuing somebody with your guns and you come into his house, will he not run? You want him to stay where, where, where he is looking at all that being shot, blood being split. Even in the north, if anybody is fought unjustly, I will still speak for that person. What we are doing here is inter-tribal, inter-religious, inter-denominational. It's purely heavenly. It is ecclesial unto Salus and Imarum. Cure it. How can they say nobody should mention names of one another? Jerubam, is he not a name? Elijah, is he not a name? Every Sunday we say, uh, crucified under Pontius Pilate. Is that not a name? Who is actually fooling who? Who are you trying to save? Who paid you? Eat your money and leave men of God to be free. Because the time is coming when these evil men will face men of God. We are living by the support of these children of God. So when the children of God are suffering, we should carry their, their cross. We are silent so that politicians will love us. So that 2023, we will tell them what, we, what they want us to tell them. Are we speaking the mind of God or mind of man? It's better to obey God than man. So we lift our hands and cover Fadambaka with the blood of Jesus. We protect Fadambaka with the blood of Jesus. We seal Fanambaka with the blood of Jesus. We protect him with the blood of Jesus. We encourage him with the blood of Jesus. Father, I lift my hands for the integral awareness of my people. I decree Second Chronicles 15, 15 for integral peace. I prophesy prosperity upon them in Zechariah chapter 117. In Psalm 128, verse 5. In Psalm 35, verse 27. Maru basen deramayeke moshe. In third John, verse 2. Let there be good health and good wealth. Prosperity inclusive. I decree success upon you. In First Samuel 18, verse 14. In Psalm 118, verse 25. Send down now, Lord, upon them success and prosperity. I seal you with the blood of Jesus. Toward the actualization of this prophecy, when things be made well, Amen. that everybody born in this country shall enjoy the favor of the Lord. Amen. I bless you that you shall not die before the time. Amen. And I cover all the men of God in this country with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I encourage them. I pray for them. Amen. It is not easy to face wicked people. It is not easy to face gunmen, but I know that the power of God, most high, whom we serve, is greater than all these. The Bible says, little children, fear not. Men of God, fear not. In 1 John 4, 4, you are of God. Fear not, you are of God. You have overcome them. For greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. For in Romans 8, 37, in all these, we are more than conquerors. I therefore bless you. 
with the healings, with inexplicable miracles. In Psalm 72, 18. In Psalm 86, verse 10. In Psalm 79, verse 12. In Psalm Barumashkiri Bashenda Masi. Rabakoto Ribasenda Yamakiri Bashi. In the book of Isaiah 29, verse 14. In Exodus chapter 34, verse 10. In John 20, verse 30. In John 21, verse 25. I decree and declare miracles. In Mark 16, verse 20. Let miracles flow like rivers upon your lives. In Isaiah 66, verse 12. May there be shalom, peace, and integral wellness flowing like a river upon you. I prophesy new things in your life. Greater high peace in this country. Solution to these problems. I prophesy non-existing leaders into leadership. That in a no distant time, Nigeria shall be far better than many Western worlds. May you all be blessed as you wave your hands unto the Lord of hosts. It is well with you. I say it is well with you. It is well with you. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus. <laughs> 